what are you, dead body falling in the ground? Greetings and salutations, my name is Numan, Wen, and welcome to I'm on Observation Duty, a short horror game where we are a security guard observing cameras and making notes of anything and everything that we see, any anomalies that we can see. Uh, the random hints that are popping up is this game has a secret. This game cannot be saved. And this game cannot be paused. So as we're going through this, rotating between cameras, uh, we may die, we may survive. Let's see how well we do. Let's see how good of a security guard I am, how, how good my observation skills are. Okay, can I do it? I have any like keyboard shortcuts? Okay, okay. So we have that room, we have a patio. Attention, all employees. Numerous anomalies, I should see the rooms, have been detected. Pay extremely close attention to surveil camera footage and file an anomaly report as soon as possible. Oh my gods. Okay. Oh, I see the arrow. It goes in a circle. Okay. So this is going to be a I spy Okay Living room I'm so going to fail Already going to predict some degree of failure Because I feel like my brain's not fully focusing on anything. And I'm trying to like make note of like, oh, anomaly. Uh, no, uh, toilet. Uh, painting anomaly, send. That was not that. Report pending. I'm going to continue. Anomaly. Anomaly fix. Perfect. Of course, we don't know how often things spawn. If I miss something, comment down below if, uh, like, you saw something different that I did not. Because I do feel like... Okay, I keep thinking, oh, no. Kitchen, furniture movement, send. I thought I, oh, cool. Okay, cool. Because I saw that on my last loop. What? I, no, okay, what else is there? Belonging movement? Okay, that's kind of annoying. Because I assume that's furniture. Meanwhile, I have probably have now missed something. Because I guess I don't know how many anomalies could be going on at the same time. Okay, so that is belonging. Okay, so let's... So we have intruder, furniture movement, door opening, light anomaly, painting, painting movement, absent, abyss anomaly. I hear a foreboding sound. It could just be a general sound. But I guess it's nice that there might be just continuous motion. I Man, I guess and depending on how this set up, 
if those are all objects, it could technically just randomly select an item and each object has just an item type. So, so long as we can attach the correct item type, honestly, anything could be chosen for something. So they each have like a set of things that they can do. So item type, painting, condition, movement, new picture, something. Did you see? Must have been my imagination. Let's keep going. I feel like a Skyrim guard. Oh, oh, but nope. Bedroom. Painting anomaly. Send. It is nice that they're all labeled. That that is very helpful. Not not what I was expecting though for uh, an anomaly for that painting. It'd been really cool if something was creeping type of thing into down the train tracks. That'd been really cool. What a very interesting game of like I spy and like spot the difference in a sense. So you go through and you just circle through the cameras and you just test your observation skills of and perception checks and spot checks for any peculiarities that exist within the scene. And it looks like they all occur at like potentially random times, so not even necessarily a set interval. I feel like this one's going to be an intruder or moving objects and stuff. We've got paintings, we've got potential moving of objects. Obviously a door. I don't think we have sound. Besides like the alerts and status updates. Though I feel like um, there's also just a random like dread sounds so playing in the background. So like there's this deep thooming sound that's playing in like my ears. So definitely, I mean, a simple idea, like this game definitely has a simple concept as far as just looking around, observing. Not much explanations really need it. And honestly, it's kind of like, even like a nice simple thing to set up. You go through, you put your camera in a spot and you go through and you build a scene. And then you go through and you have this button that goes through and just kind of rotates scenes. You have this general overlay that remains consistent and like a general, like a game man- <gasps> Whoa! Warning, we are... Toilet. I am locating them. Uh... Shadow anomaly. I didn't pay attention to the rest of that message. I was filing my report for Shadow Anomaly. No, I swear I saw... Abyss Presence? Intruder, maybe? I saw something on the toilet. And it's gonna get me killed. Oh, come on. Intruder? Okay, while you think about that, I'm gonna run through the rest of my scenes. Really? Okay, I know I'm not crazy. I know I saw it. Unidentified object. How about that? I saw it. And I'm going to call it out. I'm going to go, I saw it. I was going to the bathroom and it went whoosh, on by. Really? There's probably a penalty for me filing a bunch of false reports. Oh, uh, error, missing component, camera bedroom. Missing, missing option. What the heck? Too many anomalies active, mission failed. me anomalies. It's over. You fixed three out of seven anomalies. Okay, I was trying to fix the bathroom one. 
which then I'm not surprised that more accumulated. Huh. You fixed three out of the seven. Which then obviously, yes, I failed my spot check. I'm wondering if like furniture got moved around in one scene and I didn't catch it. What time is it? We're going to give this one more shot just to go through and check it out. And we'll see how it goes from there. Okay, just one, one more time. Okay, we're gonna do a quick click through. Try to get things in the brain. Okay, so we've done a click through. And then I do bedroom, yes. Furniture movements and <laughs> Though that's not a bad way to have your bed, you know. Don't want pirates coming for you in your sleep. Thank you. Oh. Uh, balcony outside. Light anomaly. Well, at least now we know that's definitely noticeable. So we're gonna keep going, see if we can find other stuff. Obviously multiple anomalies can be active. I'm sure, I, I know I already said that out loud. Thank you. And then slight concern like over here, if anything moved. But I'm wondering if it's fairly obvious. I mean, obviously, though, I missed four. But then again... And then I feel like I'm noticing like a little bit more detail than I had before. I should probably click a little faster through things. And it's like, and then, like, did... I don't think... I think those are still fine. I, I just... I feel like I missed something for sure in this one last time. And I'm just... I'm not sure of the things that I missed. <clears throat> Which is fine, it totally makes it entertaining. It, it, teach, it, it tests your observation skills. Which obviously I didn't go for very long. In which case then I wonder, um, if any of you guys have played this before, how long have you gone? Like how long, how long do I have to test my observations? I feel like that sound is cueing something, or maybe it's just a time. Oh! 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 No! Living room! Oh, I'm not looking in that. An intruder! Oh! Or ghost? Or... I didn't look down there before. Who are you? No intruder. Is that it? I'm... Ghost? There is some creepy, creepy thing right there. Oh, come on. Who is that? What is that? Oh, God. So I'm going to die because I'm not going to get a correct abyss presence. And I guess that's the other thing is I feel... But I would say a flaw with this is I think they have too many options. They should have had... What? What is he then? Like, so here you are. You're sitting and... You're trying to figure out what that is. Warning. It's probably telling me I have too many... We are checking multiple- yeah, I'm- Okay, let's go through and find- Thank you. So I'm probably gonna lose. Cause I would say my- my- maybe- Door open? Oh! Oh, uh, there was a glass here. Oh 
Oh my. Well, the glass was missing in the one. But, um. Mission fell. Okay, so I know I said one more time. Okay, I think I'm going to do just one more time. I would like to submit this. Yeah, that's because I couldn't identify. I guess I, I just want to see if that was there before. If it was a closed door. Uh, try again. Try one more time. Because I'm... Go over here. Who? And see, I'm not sure how... I'm pretty sure he was an intruder. He's either an intruder, abyss presence, maybe a shadow anomaly. It was obviously human, so it wasn't an unidentified object, like that one black smudge was. Pretty sure not a camera malfunction. Uh, we did have an object disappearance in the one, and he wasn't like he wasn't coming up. He wasn't registering, and obviously there was nothing there. Okay, so we're gonna. Wow, so I have to be careful. I was not looking really close in the corners, so. So I don't know if I was actually fully like focusing on this door. There's a picture frame that's sitting on it. Yeah, that glass. It's... Ooh, wow. So that's very interesting. Yeah, I don't know. So I didn't know what to mark him as. Okay, so that thing was there from the get-go. And I feel like the more that you go through this, the more things you're going to start picking up. So this, this is definitely a game that requires multiple playthroughs just so you can kind of observe. Oh, oh I bet someone will show up there. Just to be able to go through and observe all the potential discrepancies that can appear. Okay, there has to be an anomaly. Hi! I'm like, there has to be an anomaly already. No, no, no. Furniture movement, send. We saw glasses, picture. That, no flashing lights, no man hiding there. Boxes still look in order, fire, fire extinguisher. Toilet sink stuff looks fine. First aid kit. Glass is still there. Nothing looks like it's disappeared. No creeper right there. Thought that I know what to label the creeper as. I clicked so many of the logical things for what it should be. I'm pretty sure I had the correct room slotted too. It's like I feel like there should already be another active anomaly. The fact that so many appeared, it just goes to show that I really need to work on my I spy skills. Uh, this is probably, I, this will definitely be a game I think I come back and play, but not necessarily record as a video because it is Oddly entertaining. And obviously as you go through and you... Oh! Oh! Hi! Weird... Weird creature. Small... Uh, in intruder? Hi. Do you count as an intruder? I really should uh, keep a... Um... <clears throat> Uh, sorry, still got a tickle in my throat. Uh, I really should uh, keep going. Good, good. You're an intruder. Which means that maybe that one guy was a ghost? Okay, everything looks pinchy king. Hunky dory there, no one creeping there. Boxes still look good. I wonder if a room can have multiple anomalies. I mean, I wouldn't see why not. It's just a matter of you noticing whether or not. And another thing I keep wishing I made note of is um, 
way those chairs are facing in the living room. Because I totally don't make a mental check of how those chairs are facing. And then I see, and then I finally like look at them. And I have no idea. Oh gods. And I feel like, oh no, that, I mean, that has to be maybe at one minute. One minute, then I feel like I'm missing already several anomalies. It's like I'm looking for missing objects. I'm looking for twitching things. I'm looking in doorways. I'm like hoping for any degree of movement. And then I'm wondering, okay, there's, so there's a shadow anomaly. Oh, what are you? What? Okay, the little blinking light just spoke words to me and I could not understand a word that he was saying and I had to turn- Eyeball! Oh, I've got an eyeball! And I could not understand a word that he was saying. Uh... Unidentified object? Unidentified object? I mean, I'm pretty sure that's an eyeball. But I'm not sure what you what you would quantify that as. Cool, eyeball is unidentified. Okay, no creepers there. Everything still looks accounted for here. Toilet and sink are behaving themselves. Nothing's missing. Yeah, that was flickering, and words spoke to me, and. I haven't any idea what he just said. I'll go back through the record. Oh no, because it's going to be slightly quieter, I think. Because I don't have the sound really up. So I do apologize that. So that's probably going to be really quiet. But I just cranked up my sound. And I did not hear or understand a word of what he was saying. And oh my goodness, this bar totally like blends in with that. Wait, what is that? Living room, unidentified object, scent. I wonder if that spawned before, this little floating sphere, that subtle movement. Please tell me this, can I just mark everything as unidentified? But uh, but once again, probably needed fewer descriptors for certain things, so most stuff is furniture. Well, that's, I guess, not really furniture, but like, for, I mean, I guess, uh, like the plant. So like that guy, that's still furniture. Okay, yeah, I can, I can understand argument there. Okay, that's cutlery. But it's like, for the most part, though, it's like, I don't know, I, I just feel like this is a huge list of possibilities and options and stuff. No notices about there being a horde of anomalies. I mean, I guess that's a good start. It seems like, oh, I bet for each wrong guess I do when I try to figure it out, that probably potentially like increases the spawn time of an anomaly. Because I did do several ghost guesses for the ghost thingy majigger, and I did several guesses for um, the black smudge. That's probably <gasps> two minutes. Okay, that that. Thank you. Okay, turning back down the sound again. That ding dong is definitely for. <gasps> what are you, dead body, falling in the ground? Um. One, toilet, uh, shadow anomaly, it's like, I mean that could just be an unidentified object but that looks like a person falling from the ceiling. Please, thank you. I feel like my eyeballs are getting bigger and bigger as I try to absorb as much input as I possibly can for any 
potential discrepancies. Oh, wait. Is that... This could be really bad. But is that upside down? Great. We are detecting multiple anomalies! You're- oh, I was right. You're failing your spot check. <gasps> Ooh! Hi! Ho! Oh, uh... Toilet. Um... Uh... Not to get ahead of ourselves, but that's a head in our sink. I think if we run enough water, it will just go away. Please just... Guys, I know what it is, but... I don't know what it is. Okay, so maybe that's a random occurrence and not because I make bad guesses. Aha! I caught you. Doing way better. Like I said, like, like I said, uh, the more you obviously do this, the better you get at identifying oddities. And the more your brain starts playing tricks on you. I just realized, I think I can slightly see outside, right here. That is terrifying. That means I could have someone just creeping at me through the window. Well, where can the anomalies be? Oh, well, where can they be? I looked and looked and I saw some movement. I'm gonna go with this one. It will probably tell me no. And then I do a new guess. I don't remember what I did for the plant. Oh, what was it called? Belongings movement. So furniture movement probably refers to the big stuff. And then we have, I guess, belonging movement, which one could argue isn't your cutlery your belongings? <gasps> oh my god! Um, ma'am? You scared the living daylights out of me. Um, I'm gonna blur you, just as an FYI. Ma'am, you scared the living daylights out of me. Please report faster. Thank you. Wow. Oh, hi. You're not... Oh! Great. I'm gonna lose because of that weird twitching. That's happening. Please, please recognize it. Please. Oh, come on. Great. This is what's going to kill me. Camera malfunction, maybe? Ghost? Okay, we'll come back to you. 
Just because I don't want to lose track of... Oh, come on. <gasps> oh my god! Um... Well, I saw it, and I couldn't identify that weird thing. We're done for now. Third time's a charm. I at least did a lot better. A whole lot better. Third time through. Got you three minutes and some X time. So I will say- You will need shot bots and a good memory. So I will say, um... My... Best suggestion for this game is um, they need it to have fewer descriptors or they need it to have a brief definition for what constitutes each of those um, descriptions. So furniture movement, a, an object such as a bed, couch, chair, has changed orientation. Belonging, belongings, a belonging such as a box, a plant, something, is moving, twitching unusually. Uh, intruders are now fairly obvious. But it's like, I don't know, I guess I guess, I guess that could have been a camera malfunction. I still don't know what, half, what, what that one thing was saying. But uh, overall though, <laughs> I think I was starting to say earlier that, you know, this game is fairly relaxing. It's a, it's a nice kind of, it may, and, and, it's, and, and in a way it is oddly relaxing. Kind of just, you, or you're just, you're clicking through cameras. And you're playing I Spy for different things, different stuff. So I would say that is very interesting and very entertaining. Um, like I said, honestly, I will probably still play this just randomly if I need like a, like my brain's tired and I just need some random activity to do. Uh, even with the random, um, Things that as you're clicking through kind of suddenly appear in front of you type of thing and jump scaring like that. Um, this game is, like I said, oddly relaxing. I mean, it's just like a, it's a fancier version of I Spy. And uh, I guess I Spy spot the difference. I think I said one more, but uh, I would say so I greatly enjoy this game. So if you want to test your own observing skills, uh, I will obviously put the link of where I got this game down in the description down below. But uh, I honestly don't know how long it goes beyond however far I've gotten. But obviously, me, obviously he's saying every playthrough is unique. So it's obviously a randomly generated experience that probably obviously has unique secrets and stuff throughout it. But uh, overall though, enjoy the game. Only thing that I wish was different was either fewer options to choose from for filing the report or a brief description for what each of those options are. Because you really don't have, I mean, I guess you could if you're playing this multiple times, eventually you figure out what all the discrepancies are. But um, like what constitutes a camera malfunction? Was that weird twitching a camera malfunction? Obviously, it wasn't an unidentified object. What constitutes an unidentified object? Obviously, an eyeball, floating globe, thingy majigger. So, I would say th those would be my two peeves. Other than that, I really enjoy this game. And if you guys enjoy playing your own I Spy games, I mean, yeah, I totally recommend this game. Once again, I'll, I'll link it down below. So, Thank you guys so much for joining me on this I Spy adventure. If you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. And if you want to get notified for when I go through and post a gaming video, a crafting video, or 
other random antics and stuff, ring the bell icon so you get notified when that content goes live. I do try to aim for sure for videos to be on Tuesdays and Thursdays, uh, occasionally, like this video. Uh, sometimes they are posted on like random off days, either A, because of boredom, and I go through and I post a random video, or B, I had technical difficulties or some, like something I didn't record or editing was is taking like longer than it should type of thing. So videos sometimes appear on the off days, but for the most part, uh, fairly consistently Tuesdays and Thursdays. Ring, the bell, ring that bell icon if you want to get notified for when they do go live on those days. Once again, thank you guys so much for joining me on these adventures. Thank you so much for people who, I guess, have joined our adventuring guild of antics and mischief and fleeing and not fleeing and crouching and hiding and other fun things like that. Thank you guys so much for joining me and until we meet again, guys, happy questing and safe travels. Bye, guys.